All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go over the doTERRA new products, and these are going to be available to you October 1st, so very soon. All right, let's get started. We're going to talk about the first one, which is holy basil, which kind of smells like a like a sweet basil. It smells really good. Um, it's traditionally used throughout the world as part of rituals, protection, and health practices in many cultures. Um, but it has a really calming and relaxing aroma. Um, you can add a drop to your um, lotion as part of your skincare routine. Um, you can gargle it with water. Um, it's good for oral health. Um, and you can diffuse it for uh, promoting a calming atmosphere. So it's just a really it smells just really fresh and, and sweet. And this one's interesting too. You can take in a veggie cap to maintain healthy sugar levels. And that one is going to be $26 for a five milliliter. All right. The next one is Copaiba. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Cause I just put my headphones in. Yep. Thumbs up. Okay. Perfect. So this one is actually, you guys are already familiar with Copaiba. It's an amazing oil. It's kind of what I say. It like goes really well with frankincense. Those two are absolutely incredible for muscle tension, pain. Um, it's really calming. So they decided to make this a touch oil. So when you get a touch, that just means it's already diluted in a roller bottle form for you. And the reason why they do that is because they just want to make it easy on people. So there's a lot of people out there that just want to use the oils topically. They don't want to have to think about like, how many drops do I have to do? Uh, and the nice thing about this is you can use it for all ages. And when you already have it diluted, um, it actually works best for, um, that's okay. It works best for, um, it penetrates the skin. So you don't have to worry about, it's going to save you money and it, um, can be used on children. So you can try this. If anyone speaking of children, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> they are, <laughs> If she comes in naked, it's bath time. It would be a very interesting recording. Um, so <laughs> this is actually uh, recommended for potty training children. So you can rub it over their abdomen. So I never even thought to use Copaiba when I was going through that with my kids. And I think it's going to be really helpful for all ages though, because you're going to want to layer this with deep blue. If you have sore muscles, um, it's really good for glowing skin too. And if you have any like cuts or bruises, you can use it for that. And if you've got any sort of anxiety, Copaiba is fantastic for that. Yes. Such it a also good helps with sleep too. Yes. We all need that, right? Yep. Um, okay. So the On Guard chewable tablets are surprisingly good. My whole family has been using them. And they are formulated with vitamin D3, vitamin C, zinc, and beta-glucan, which uh, beta-glucan helps maintain a healthy um, micro gut microbiome. And so this is all for immune support. So I've been giving my family one of these every day. Um, they taste pretty sweet. It doesn't taste just like on guard to me. It tastes a little bit more sweet, but they are sugar-free, gluten-free, non um GMO and vegan. And um, I also was reading about beta glucan that can help lower cholesterol. So that's something interesting, but this is for the whole family. It's a really tiny, I wonder if I can show you there. It's a really tiny little um, container here, but it comes with 60 tablets and they're really small. And I've just been having the kids just, you know, pop one and you kind of suck on it almost like a sweet tart and then you can just chew it. So really nice and, and easy. All right. Christine is going to tell us about the deep blue stick. So deep blue has been around since doTERRA was created. It was one of their top 10 oils that they made. It's one of their blends and it's still to this day, one of the best sellers because it feels incredible. But one of the things that people complain about is um, if you put deep blue on and then you don't wash your hands well enough, and then you rub your eyes, that could really be painful. 
or maybe you use the restroom and you have a little bit of a traumatic experience if you're a male or things like that. Like we just don't even want to go there. So the nice thing about the deep blue stick is it actually has copaiba as well. And our regular deep blue does not. Um, but you don't have to worry about getting it on your fingers. So um, it's no mess. You just apply it. And it's really great for um, exercise a long day. I highly encourage you just rubbing this on your shoulders, your lower back. If you have a lot of um, anxiousness in your life, this is a great one for that too. Uh, and it's good for growing pains for kids. And um, you can also, if you feel like you need a stronger effect, you can layer it with the deep blue rub as well. And so you even have that option to do the Copaiba touch deep blue, which has Copaiba in there, and then even add on even more deep blue. It depends on um, how much pain you're dealing with um, or aches. But I do know uh, some people use this, some females during that time of the month for uh, cramps. So you can put a little bit of that on your lower abdomen and it might even seem a little strange, but um, on your inner thighs too. And that really helps with getting rid of those aches. I actually just used it for cramps the other day and it worked really well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All um, right. Okay. So vanilla, I don't know how many people have asked me, um, are they ever going to make a vanilla? And I always <laughs> said, I don't think so. <laughs> and the reason why was because it's so incredibly difficult to get pure vanilla. Um, so they actually discovered that our vanilla is from Madagascar and that is where 80% of the world's vanilla is sourced. It is the second most popular spice in the world and they can only harvest it at one point in time in the year. And so what they were discovering was um, you need a specific bee to turn this into a vanilla bean. And so the plant was blossoming and it was never turning into the bean. So for 50 years, this happened and nobody was getting any beans. So they found a, a small child, I think it was a young boy. He hand <laughs> pollinated everything with a bamboo stick. And so they discovered that you can do it, but you can only do it one day in the whole year. And then it takes, what is it, Lori, eight to nine months. Yeah. For the bean to be ready to be harvested. So um, it's a very, as you can see, if you miss your window, then you don't get any vanilla. But they wanted to make sure that they could offer this um, to everyone at an affordable price too. So they, they have to dilute it. And the reason for that is because it actually is so thick. It's like tar-like. So when you get this, um, this is one of the only vanillas I think oils that you can actually ingest mm -hmm. just like the doTERRA standard. They wanted to make sure that you could use this in baking. You could put it in beverages and that sort of thing. Um, and I don't have my hands on this yet because it sold out before I could even get it. But Lori is obsessed with it. <laughs> I think it smells like, so good. <laughs> I was just, yeah. you know what? I just did it in the diffuser. I did vanilla citrus bliss and um, cassia, which is like a cinnamon Oh my God. That was like the fall had just like wafted it into my nose. It was amazing. So, um, yeah, it's a five milliliter. I have a feeling that I'm going to get several of these, especially for the uh, holiday seasons because it smells amazing. Yeah. They, um, recommend if you want to make your own personal scent with perfume, uh, it goes really well with florals and you can layer it, um, on your wrists and that sort of thing. And also, um, in the diffuser with on guard is a really nice holiday scent. Um, and there were, um, I think there was a recommendation of Jasmine, frankincense and vanilla. Somebody said it would rock your world if you put those on. Oh yeah. Um, uh -huh. yeah. And it makes, it's very calming. So it's actually really good for skin too. So you can add it to your facial cream with rose. Um, and I don't, I just can't wait to try it. it and it's only $35. So pretty amazing. Yeah, definitely a good price point. I thought it was going to be like $500. So I know <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. So let's talk about abode. This is going to be an exciting new oil. Um, here, let me see. My screen is being weird. 
Um, Abode is a brown, brand new powerhouse blend that's focused primarily on keeping your environment clean. So it's a good surface cleaner, good for pulling smells, kind of similar to like a um, purify, um, but just really powerful. And I really enjoy the smell too. You can add um, 10 to 15 drops to your home cleaner. If you already have a cleaner that you like, maybe you like the On Guard Cleaning Concentrate or a linen spray. Um, you can add a couple drops. If you guys do a um, dryer balls when you put into your dryer, you can add that or you can add to your diffuser. I particularly like the idea to put it in stinky shoes. <laughs> My son plays soccer, so I'm definitely going to put it in there with a little cotton ball or even just some drops in. But it smells, I was trying to explain it earlier. It's like a very fresh smell, almost like purified, but like with a like a, a chai tea nutmeggy smell. It's just really, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's really, really nice. So it's a good one for, for pulling all those smells. So let's move on. So Christine's gonna tell us a little bit about the new Abode line. Whenever I see Abode, my mind says Adobe. Like I'm putting the B and the T. Um, okay. So they came out with an entire new line for your home. And the reason for that is we all know um, a lot of us that have been using on guard, how powerful it is for the body. And we love the cleaner concentrate and, and so on and so forth. But a lot of people just, they want things done for them um, and they want it to be simple and they want it to look beautiful. And the glass containers that you can get for this is absolutely gorgeous. And what I like is that it's not very specific about what's in there. So for example, if you can have your old on guard cleaner concentrate, if you want to use all that up before you try the next one, you can still buy the bottle and put it in that. And it's, it looks so pretty or your, you know, your on guard hand uh, soap. If you want to use that before you try the next one, you can still buy the bottles and, and put it in there. But the reason why they created this was because according to the EPA, the air inside your home is actually 200 to 500% more polluted than the air outside. And the reason for that is because it's mainly due to toxic household cleaning products, but it's also air fresheners, um, things that are in your carpet. What are you cleaning your carpet with? You're breathing in these toxins and so on. So it's really important that we start to detox our home. And what we allow in the United States is absolutely ridiculous in terms of chemicals. It's really sad. They haven't even um, gotten some of these things off the shelf. So for example, banned overseas, you cannot buy spick and span, scrubbing bubbles, mop and glow easy off. They're not even allowed there because of how toxic they are. Some of the worst offenders are simple green, wink rust stain remover, citrus solve cleaner and degreaser. And there's many that we use in our homes that contain asthma causing ingredients. So if you're sensitive to um, respiratory allergies, asthma, you probably want to start using um, essential oils because they are antiviral, antibacterial, they smell amazing and it's not gonna harm you. So some of the asthma causing ingredients are bleach, 409, Febreze, oven cleaners, um, Lysol, spot shot, stuff that most people use. So that is part of why they created uh, this line. They did a test on a hundred different oils and wanted to see which ones were the most powerful and, um, and cleaning. And I think they picked 30 of the hundred. And then from that 30, they created the abode line because they wanted to make sure not only did it work, but it smelled great. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Christine. You know mm -hmm. what? I, I was showing this to my parents because I'm like, oh my God, we grew up with 409 and Clorox and just all of those things. Simple green. I think just because it's a green bottle, you think it's, oh, it's natural. Definitely not. So yeah. Um, here's a picture I took of my new bottles. I'm obsessed with them. I love that you can buy them once and that you can keep reusing them. The dish soap comes with a little, let me turn my camera here on. It comes with a little um, topper like that, or you can use the um, little pump, which I kind of prefer. So I've been using that pump with um, my dish soap, but the abode hand wash smells so good. So who has um, smelled citrus bloom or citrus? Yeah, citrus bloom. One of my favorite, favorite oils. It smells amazing. So the hand wash 
is going to come um, it, with the really nice little um, uh, recyclable, all aluminum recyclable, refillable containers. And so you can just throw that in the recycle. You're just going to pour the concentrate. These little bottles are cool because it has a little line where to pour the concentrate. And then you add the water. Let me just mute there. Um, then you just add the water and then you can just refill. Or if you prefer the on guard ones, you can do those ones as well. But these are full, uh, free of parabens, phosphates, phylates, dyes, synthetic fragrances. That's another thing that we've really learned um, over time is synthetic fragrances that is really harmful. So it may smell good, but it's not good for you. And um, these. Um, Amber bottles are just high quality. They're really nice and luxurious. I like want one in all of my rooms. So let's move on to the hand lotion. And then these are gonna come in these PCR pouches, which are post uh, consumer recycled materials. So they're really thinking um, about mother earth when we're there creating all of these lines. So the hand lotion, again, smells like the citrus bloom. You can just put it directly into your beautiful bottle here. And I wanna have one of these in every room. Um, again, it's free of all the crap and crud that is usually in lotion. So um, it's all plant-based and it's gonna be healthy for you and for your whole family. And um, yeah, so that is the hand lotion. And then Christine, you wanna talk about the laundry pods? Sure. So. Um... These are going to be what you use instead of detergent, and they come in a little pod. It almost looks like a dishwasher mm -hmm. uh, pod, if you've seen those. And one of the recommendations that they made was you can go to your local like dollar store. I actually have, um, I just bought one to put, I can't wait to get the laundry pods. <laughs> and you could just get one of these jars for a dollar at your dollar store and you can have them in your laundry room and just put the pods in there and make it look all cute. And you can do the same thing for your dishwasher and um, because they don't have, they don't supply a cute container for yeah. those, right? It's just, okay. yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah. You can keep them in the bag if you want, but maybe you wanna, you know, make everything look extra cute and you could just go to the dollar store and get one of these <laughs> twist off, keep it high up on a shelf and um, yeah, so. These are, um, like she was saying, it's in that um, post-consumer recycled material. So everything is being thought of in terms of um, the environment and they have a natural fresh citrus aroma. So I don't have these yet, but Lori does. Lori, what do you like? What kind of citrus does it smell like? Let's see, because those are, that's the only thing I haven't used yet. So let me open it. Let's see. Um, God, it's hard to, it's just like really fresh smelling. Um, and of course I'm just smelling through the plastic, but right. It's like a light, almost like a, not as strong as a purify, but just like a, just light fresh. I don't know if that makes sense, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's supposed to be really good on stains. Um, and it leaves your clothes extra clean and bright. Yes, I'm so excited about that. And you don't have that big old container now, you know, the huge container. So that's yep. really good for less plastic. Um, the dishwasher pods I have been using, super cool. Again, they just look like little pods here. You can either put them in your little um, dishwasher flap thing that you put the little container thing, or if you happen to put it in there and it's wet, this happens with all pods, it may stick and not fully dissolve. So a lot of people were saying they just throw it in the bottom of their dishwasher and it's good to go. Um, but you can see here, I took, um, I was testing out, I had an egg plate, all kinds of dried egg on there. I didn't even rinse it, which my husband was freaking out. He's like, why aren't you rinsing the plate before you put it in? But I didn't rinse it. I just put it in and it came out super clean. Um, so these are free of all the, the crud also. It's also free of chlorine meaning your gray water is not contributing to ground pollution, which is really important. And um, it's a concentrated formula, so you just need to use not very much, which is really nice, again, in those PCR pouches. Um, somebody also said that they've been using their dishwasher pods in the toilet. 
as a toilet um, cleanser. So I'm going to have to try that as well. Lori, we had a question in the chat oh, yeah. about how sure. many are in the bag of the laundry pods and the dishwasher? Good question. So it has 10 of each in there. So when you're ordering, you might want to order a few, you know, just to have. I think this whole line, I might just order a few just to have like my next backup, right? Um, so yeah, 10 of each in, in those ones. All right, so Christine, you wanna talk about the dish soap? Sure, yeah, so the soap, um, it, you can get that bottle for it, that's beautiful. And it is free from sulfates, phthalates, dyes, and chlorine, and it's a plant-based formula. And it actually has the abode blend that you are going to have the option to purchase that oil. So you become familiar with that. What that's what the whole line is called abode, but it also has grapefruit oil in there because grapefruit is really good um, as a cleaner and it smells so good. Uh, it's in recyclable aluminum, like a container that you can reuse for, I like to repurpose bottles. So um, Lori's showing it, right? I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, you could think of so many uses for, for that once you're done with it. Yeah, I would also, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. It kind of reminds me, it looks like a reusable water bottle. It does look and like. You could use that as a travel water bottle because once you clean it out, you know it's clean, it had dish soap in it. So you just <laughs> fill it up with some water and send the kids to school. There you go, That's drink your dish soap. It's totally fine. <laughs> That's a really good idea, actually, because it looks like a water bottle. Yeah. Or just keep it in your car. I always need extra water in my car because um, I feel like every time we go somewhere, my kids need a refill on their water bottle. And that'd be kind of a cool little thing just to keep for emergency use, too, or something like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. So I'm going to talk about this um, surface spray. Um, it comes with a nice little surface spray with a kind of a rubbery kind of matte so it doesn't move around, which is nice. And when you get this bottle, you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's so tiny, but <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna pour it into the little line and then the rest water. This, I tell you, has the best spray nozzle on it. And I am obsessed with this smell. Every I've been like cleaning everything. I've been cleaning extra because I love the smell of it. Um, so if you do buy this one, I would buy a few of them just to have ready to go. Or if you prefer, you know, I, I was kind of wanting to see if you add the, the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate, you could mix both and have some extra power there. But um, it's really good. It's just amazing um, for cleaning. And I love how tiny this little recyclable bottle is and not making a huge footprint. So it's using that Abode blend. Um, let me see my other notes on here. Um, it Again, it's free of phosphates, um, sulfates, phylates, dyes, chlorine, and the key component is the, um, in the essential oils is the cleaner is thymol, widely known for its powerful cleansing and purifying products. It also has lime, litsia, cassia, lemon eucalyptus, tea tree, arvavate, eucalyptus, kochi, cilantro, lavadin, and lemon myrtle. So there's so many powerhouses in there. Um, it's great for countertops. Oh, I've been um, using it as a glass cleaner as well. And it cleans the glass really well. So it's kind of like an all-in-one and um, you only pretty much have to have that <laughs> as your cleaner. You can clean everything with it, which is really nice. Do you wanna talk about the Huga? Hmm. Yeah, so this is a limited time oil and it's called, it looks like it's very hard to pronounce, but it's pronounced Huga. And it is a blend that everybody who's already gotten it is obsessed with. So um, it's got wild orange, amorous, cedarwood, frankincense, myrrh, cystus, vetiver, tonka bean, and vanilla. And so it's meant to be diffused to create a relaxing and welcoming environment. That's what the word huga it means. It's, um, I wish I could tell you how amazing it is, but... It's really nice. We were sold out after two days and it was insane. I can't even believe. <laughs> it does smell, yeah. you know how it says the cozy blend? That's what it, it, it's hard to explain, but it smells like you would just be like with a fire in your tea and, 
and just this going in. I mean, look how many amazing oils. It has a lot of really calming oils. So I think this mm -hmm. would be a good one in the evening to, to be using. Yeah, they're gonna give you the option to, um, to purchase this with a diffuser combo. So all of this is available October 1st. And the cool thing is you'll be able to add these if you have a loyalty rewards order, you'll be able to add them to your LRP um, but just know that you can't have them sit there if it's a limited time offer. So if you wanted the Huga, you're just going to hit process right away. Um, the other blends and oils and things that are here to stay permanently, you can have that sitting in your cart. But if you're, for example, if your order goes out on the first, push it back a couple days so that you can get on on the first and edit your order um, so you can have your wish list of items that you'd like with all the new products. Yeah, very good point. Um, and also we never know sometimes when all of these come out, sometimes people go crazy and some things might sell out. So if there's something you really want and your loyalty rewards order is going through on the 15th or 20th, maybe hop in there on the first or second, add it, and then you just click proceed to checkout and process now to, to make sure it goes through. This is also a limited time. They have two different carrier oils. One is a body oil, it's hydrating and softening um, while sealing in the moisture. And it has passion fruit, jojoba, baobab, meringue, I don't know how to say that one, toco fruta, sunflower <laughs> seed. <laughs> and so that one is gonna kind of look just similar to your fractionated coconut oil. Maybe you are allergic to coconut or you know you can't have that. So you, that's a good option. They also have a sensitive skin one with a little um, topper here, and it's really soothing for dry, irritated skin. Um, you know, those winter months are coming up when everybody's hands are, you know, you've washed them so much. It's really lightweight, absorbable. Um, and that was with grape seed, rose um, hip seed, hemp seed, the same word I can't say, and sunflower seed. And these you can also make your roller bottles with. So. I saw a fun little DIY hack. You can take any of your fractionated coconut oils um, and buy a pretty little bottle and put them in here. And then you, and you have that out and then you don't have to have your brown bottles. So I thought that was a fun little, fun little hack. And it's um, nice because- That's then a good can, idea. Thanks. And you can just pump that in to make um, roller bottles super easy. And then there you go. So that one is a limited time. If that's something that you want, make sure you hop in and, and add that to your order. And then yes, all of these are gonna be available October 1st. Here's that diffuser Christine was talking about. Again, limited time, but the rest are here to stay besides the um, oils here and the um, carrier oils. And um, I heard, or Christine heard a rumor that these bottles might be available later in an October, but we're not sure. So just pop into your account October 1st, check it out. If you are wanting to go to any of the doTERRA's post convention tours, which are really cool because they have all the products, you can smell them, you can feel them and use them. And also if you go, it's only $10, you get a free oil and you can have the ability to buy this whole kit. And I believe that you can buy these glass containers. Um, so you can check there in al almost all major cities. San Diego's is um, October 2nd, but they're in Denver, all, all over um, the US. So if you want more information on that, just let us know and we'll send you the link or you can go to doTERRA's site and type in post convention tour and they will give you the dates for those. Anything I missed, Christine? No, I think that's it. Does anyone, I, I think somebody had, written something in the chat let me see oh um yeah amy had said when we we're talking about the um worst offenders she said she was shocked about simple green because it's supposed to be biodegradable and pet safe and i said i, I know it's a whole marketing they even have that on the bottle and it's the number one most toxic cleaner out there isn't that awful it is it's such false um, advertising and and you find that with almost everything it could say natural but it's it's just yeah, the marketing is awful. So that's one thing you can really um, trust with doTERRA is they're putting in their research, they're wanting products that are safe for you, your family and your pets, and that you can just be like, okay, I'm getting this product. I know it's okay for me. It's not going to be filled with a bunch of 
crap. <laughs> it's going to cause harm. So, <laughs> any other questions you guys have? Good. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Let me stop sharing here. And um, we're excited for all the new products. And yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, please reach out to us and we can help you out. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.